Hello everyone, welcome you back to Garden Fever. I'm Corey Lefevre, your host, coming to you direct from Northern Utah in the United States. I want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, today we got an exciting episode. Uh, it's fall time now, so we're starting to prepare for fall. And I got a quick tip or a little thing I'm excited to share you about when it comes to uh, pest control, which I had just released a video not too long ago about pest control, so I wanted to kind of add to that. But before we do, I wanted to talk to you about farmer's defense because I don't know about you, but when you clean your yard, whether it's spiders like black widows, thorn bushes, even praying mantises themselves, which is something we'll get into today, uh, you want to protect yourself and your gear. I'm excited because my samples are here. So I don't know about you guys, but it's fall time now and it's time to prepare and bed down the garden for the winter here in Utah. These arm guards are great uh, for this kind of work because you got uh, I got a lot of rosebush thorns and branches as you can see here. So these are, these will protect my arms. So if you're interested in these in this kind of stuff, uh, visit their site. They have all kinds of gear for farmers, not just arm guards, but a wide array of designer arm guards with all kinds of prints on them. These are just a couple. Uh, pretty cool though. Will help protect your arm, give you the gear you need to make your garden a beautiful paradise. Uh, and for now, let's get back to the video. In nature, it is known that in order to thin the herd and control it, predators are needed. Today, we're going to be talking about this, the praying mantis. I'm finally getting it established in my yard, and I'm excited. It's a good idea to have them. Although they can be hard to keep inside of your garden if you create the conditions conducive for your garden, keep putting them in there eventually they will lay egg sacs and eventually set up shop in your garden I'm finally getting there I'm excited to show you this I've got uh, white praying mantises green praying mantises brown praying mantises they're returning year after year and uh, laying eggs and I'm excited this is a good way to control pests I just did a video on pests please check the link in the video as well as a previous video I did on the praying mantis that is also in the video in the link below. Um, it's a good idea to do this. This controls pests naturally, especially the grasshopper. With that, I'd like to thank you. Please hit that subscribe button and that like button and let's make the world a paradise one yard at a time.